Am I the asshole? For walking out of a babysitting gig after I found out that the kid was diabetic? Type 1 diabetic here totally not the asshole especially because you have zero experience administering insulin or dealing with lows. Minor mistakes in dosage can have serious negative consequences, same with waiting too long to take insulin. That mom should know better, good for you for walking away from that risky situation. Not the asshole. Since you are neither qualified nor comfortable with performing such a task, you made the right choice. Not the asshole, insulin injects, blood sugars and all diabetic care can be super confusing and overwhelming when you have no experience. The mom should not have ever put you in that position. Not the asshole. She blindsided you and was hoping for the best. Even if the kid just needed to take a pill at bedtime, that sort of thing should have been disclosed when you took the gig. Not the asshole. I'm a nurse and wouldn't be comfortable caring for a 5-year-old diabetic overnight that I don't know. Not the asshole. Special medical needs are something you absolutely deserve to know in advance before agreeing to look after children, and surprising you with that at the last minute is unacceptable. Not the asshole. That's important info to just spring on a babysitter. You did not feel up to it, refusing as well within your rights. Not the asshole. I am a retired medical technologist now called medical laboratory scientist, and sticking needles into small children does not always go well. I cannot believe the mother wanted to dump her child's care on an inexperienced teenager. You did the right thing. How in the world did the mother think it was a good idea to get a babysitter with no diabetic experience? Sure, it's easy for her because she knows how to do it, but you can't say the same about others. Not the asshole. Not the asshole easy would have been Mucate is allergic to peanuts there is no peanuts in the house if you've awesome please let them in your car not here is a list of things to do and if you fail to do them on time my chelm could die. Not the asshole. It's pretty obvious the mom tried to ambush you, and was hoping she could run out of there before you could refuse. Good job standing up for yourself, op at 18 years old this is an incredibly useful and important skill to have. Not the asshole. It's easy for her because she's likely used to the routine. That doesn't make it a good idea to dump her diabetic child off on a babysitter with no knowledge of diabetes management. Not the asshole she absolutely should have had you do a trial run before have you babysit for nearly 24 hours with her being hours away. It was irresponsible her to assume that you were willing, never mind responsible enough, to manage her son's diabetes for him. It would be a bit different if he was older, but at 5 he still needs significant supervision. Not the asshole looking after a child with diabetes can be challenging. I'm a teacher and if we get a diabetic child in our class the staff receives special training. Even if the child were older and would be able to take point on monitoring would be challenging but a 5 year old needs someone who knows what they are doing, overnight care shouldn't be left to someone with no experience at all. Not the asshole. That's a completely acceptable boundary to have. I would also recommend contacting the family who recommended her to you. Don't blame them for it, just explain the situation that you weren't comfortable with what needed to happen and say you wanted to give them a heads up in case she complains about you to them. Not the asshole. If you're not comfortable and have no prior knowledge, it's honestly in everyone's best interest that you aren't solely responsible for the diabetic 5 year old. Not the asshole and honestly the mother should be grateful to you for being upfront and honest about your limitations. Not the asshole both my kids have nut allergies and one has asthma, I always stated that upfront before arranging care. Springing diabetes and injections on you if insane and mom probably knows it. Not the asshole. Don't expect to hear from here again, but yeah she absolutely should have told you beforehand. Injections are not a normal, expected part of babysitting and usually that come over early to go over stuff is just about bedtime and where the snacks are, not medical processes. Insulin is no big deal when you do it every day, but it's wild to just assume a teenage babysitter you never met would be fine with it without any prior discussion. Not the asshole. Any specialized needs for babysitting should be disclosed beforehand. She did not do that. Not the asshole. You did the right thing. This is medical neglect. Not the asshole also the fact that the kid is 5. The chances of that kid still being at the phase where they kick and scream is high either resulting in your injury or you fucking up the injection. Not the asshole at all this is above and beyond the realms of standard babysitting and she really should have been upfront about it. Not to doubt you OP but objectively speaking she was putting her child at risk leaving her with a stranger who had told her they didn't have experience administering that kind of medication. Allergies are one thing, or a tablet with dinner may be reasonable but this was a lot to expect without warning. 
not the asshole. It was unreasonable of her to just drop that on you. Medical needs need to be communicated over the phone before the day of babysitting. Not the asshole. Not the asshole a serious medical condition is something the parent should have absolutely been upfront about before you agreed to take the job. Not the asshole. You didn't feel comfortable doing important medical things that you were completely unprepared for. She's a bit of an offer blindsiding you. Not the asshole. That is something that should have been made aware of prior. You can't teach someone to do that stuff in 5 minutes and expect child to remain safe and healthy. Good grief, you're not the asshole it wouldn't even be safe for you to care for a diabetic child when you don't know how and the child really isn't old enough to understand her own medical needs. I don't know what this mom was thinking I'm sure she's stressed and tired and needs a break but her child's safety needs to come first. Not the asshole. If she has a child with special needs, it's on her to find a babysitter comfortable with these special needs, not spring it at the very last minute. Not the asshole. She wasn't upfront with you about the medical condition and continually tried to downplay your concerns. Only do what you're comfortable doing, especially for an overnight job. Not the asshole. My kid is diabetic, it's not as easy to manage as she tried to make it out to be. Too many things could have gone wrong. And I'm sure she'd probably try to blame you if anything happened. Not the asshole. I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when I was 4. Here I am 26 years later and it's still not as good as it should be. But back then it was horrendous. Not from lack of trying but the smallest of things can affect blood sugar. Thank you. Thank you for refusing to babysit and not dealing with the child that you felt so uncomfortable doing. Things like this happened to me when I was younger and I stated to resent my diabetes and it's only been the last 5 or so years reg I've accepted it. Thank you for not condiabuing this for this poor little child. For you, I had enough trouble caring for a diabetic cat I was temporarily cat sitting in an emergency situation managed to give the wrong amount of insulin, so I very much would back out of taking care of a type 1 small child who needs much more intensive, knowledgeable care because it could potentially be a life or death situation. X200B. You did the right thing. She didn't tell you beforehand because she thought if you were already there, you'd be much more reluctant to back out. She can pretend you're overreacting, but she knows full well why she wasn't upfront with what the job entailed. Not the asshole I would feel comfortable watching a diabetic baby 5 yo as baby, and 18 yo me might have been up to the task, but I have been around diabetes my whole life, so it's different. Not the asshole. I'm the mother of a type 1 diabetic, and would never leave someone to give injections without fully vetting and training them first. That's insane. While yes, it isn't that hard, once you are trained there is a lot that can go wrong too much insulin will kill and there's a lot of training that ought to go into that. Not a 15 minute spiel, a good multiple hours of training and injection practice. This woman didn't care about the well-being of her child. That's insane. Yup not the asshole, with anything that serious. She should have told you beforehand. People struggle with EpiPens, let alone insulin injections. Not the asshole. You were bring responsible and mature. Not the asshole. Requiring you to test blood sugar and give injections is way outside the normal babysitting expectations, and should have been disclosed beforehand. You wouldn't have walked out last minute if she had been honest up front you could have declined when she said it had medical requirements outside your expertise. Not the asshole having to give injections should have been discussed beforehand. Even a quick, oh and are you comfortable giving insulin injections? When they were asking you to babysit would have been enough. It's unfortunate that she may have missed her night out, but this happens to parents all the time lol, it's not your fault she didn't ensure you were prepared before the night of. Not the asshole. Smart move. This could be a life and death situation quickly with type 1 diabetes. A 5-year-old child doesn't understand the disease enough to help either at this point. Solid no. She should look for a retired healthcare provider or another diabetic type 1 as carer. Not the asshole mom of type 1 diabetic. Not a chance in hell would I have left my 5 years old with someone with no training or experience. There is so much to know about carb counting alone. I have a child with type 1. I would never ever spring that on someone. Too little or too much insulin can end up in a hospital trip. In my opinion you did the responsible thing by walking out. I would tell that mom to check with her child's endo to see if they have a safe sitter list. Duh. Not the asshole. She's definitely not a caring mother either. Who can leave their children with someone that they have never met before. 
let alone a life-affecting disease that requires injections and not think that is critical information with whom you've asked to care for your children. Her poor child. Not the asshole. You sound more responsible mature than the mom. Not the asshole. Diabetes can be deadly if mismanaged. You might have saved that child a hospital trip or their life by walking out. Not the asshole. She should have disclosed this information right from the start. She is so reckless to leave a child overnight in a care of a person who doesn't know a thing about how to deal with diabetes. You made a very wise decision you aren't a. The mother on the other hand is. Not the asshole. I'm baffled that she was ready to leave her 5 yo kid overnight with an absolute stranger, diabetes or not. No trial run or meeting each other first? I wouldn't even let someone watch my dogs overnight who hasn't met them first. Not the asshole. That mother is absolutely not thinking straight. You did the right thing. She should not be dropping a child with specialized medical needs on you for an overnight without proper preparation. Not the asshole. How can the mom be comfortable leaving her special needs kid to someone who does not have enough knowledge about her kid's condition and expects them to administer injections? I know those injections are mostly pre-dosed, but still there's always room for error. Not the asshole. The mom is crazy. No one should want a babysitter who is uncomfortable with job requirements. Not the asshole. I am astounded that a parent would try to leave their 5-year-old overnight with a new sitter that they just met let alone the kid having diabetes and they thought a five-minute chat would suffice. Oof. This is CPS level. Not the asshole. That is terrifying that she would just leave her child with someone who has no experience or knowledge in diabetes. Literally, you could have accidentally killed her child. I diabetic am continually going over all the things with my husband in case I fall out and he needs to handle me, and we've been married over a decade. Not the asshole. That mother is a huge ah though. As a mom I could not imagine leaving my children overnight with a teen that I had just met. Add health issues into the equation and that's a huge no.